The two brooches in the centre of this display case were produced by the long-established Fortsheim company Colmar and Jourdan in 1967. They both have been crafted in the shape of a flower with elegantly curved petals. Brooches were very fashionable in the 1950s and 60s. They were often used to accessorise austerely tailored suits or cocktail dresses. These brooches are gilded. The relevant technique, called doublé, after the French word meaning doubled, involves covering a less precious metal, such as brass, with a thin sheet of gold and fusing them together under pressure. This saves on precious metal, thus keeping the cost down. Back then, modern manufacturing technologies, such as mechanical pressing and punching, also provided cheaper ways to mass-produce jewellery. This led to a new branch of the jewellery-making industry, fashionable real jewellery, fine but affordable. More and more people were able to treat themselves to such jewellery as West Germany's so-called economic miracle progressed. Emile Colmar and Wilhelm Jourdan set up their jewellery and watch chain factory in 1885. It was once the largest chain factory in the world and the company had a leading position in the market for industrially manufactured fashion jewellery. It soon became renowned the world over, particularly for its gilt work, and was awarded a gold medal for its gilt watch chains at the World Fair in Paris in 1900. Between 1902 and 1910, Colmar and Jourdan built a state-of-the-art factory for more than 1,000 workers. The splendour of this impressive building can still be admired today. With its glazed ceramic tiles and other decorative elements, many of its features are clearly influenced by the Art Nouveau and Neo-Gothic styles. Colmar and Jourdan continued manufacturing operations here until 1977. In 1983, the building became home to the Technical Museum of Pforzheim's jewellery and watchmaking industries. Visitors to the museum can watch how jewellery and watches were produced in the past, demonstrated by the museum's staff using original machines. For more information on Pforzheim's jewellery-making industry in the 19th and 20th centuries, press the question mark key now.